live Pinellas pregame show. I'm Allison Williams here with my frenemy, Sid Rosenberg. Frenemy, I like that. Frenemy, Sid, I like nine that. nine early games once again this Sunday. We've got a potential Texas shootout, a few mismatches, and best of all, we get our first look at the Saints in Fantasy Live Challenge. Which is always good, the world champs. Frenemy because she's a Lions fan, and I'm wearing a <laughs> Giants shirt today. No uh, good. No good, huh? Next week I'll wear a Lions shirt, I promise. Two yeah. primetime games to start off for the Super Bowl champs. Now they'll host the division rival Atlanta Falcons. They lose Reggie Bush, breaks his leg against San Francisco on Monday. But I don't see how you can't have Drew Brees in your lineup every time he's got the ball in his hands. He is still a very, very good passer, even without Reggie Bush. you got the weapons out there, Henderson, Shockey, Colston, Moore. you got to play Drew Brees. All right, I can think of one reason why you wouldn't have Drew Brees. And actually, I can think of 497 <laughs> okay. reasons. Matt Schaub lit it up. For 497 yards last weekend, is he? Of course, he was protected by that great offensive line. And Eric Winston, he'll have to try and do the same thing against Dallas. Yeah, he will try to do the same thing. Don't forget now, the Redskins have given up big passing yards in each of their first two games. That's who Houston beat last week. But you're right, there's potential for a lot of fireworks in Houston. So many weapons, so many players. Shab, of course, has Andre Johnson, the running back, Arian Foster. He had over 200 yards opening day against Indianapolis. On the other side here, Allison, you've got Tony Romo, Miles Austin, Jason Witten, Dez Bryant, and a few decent running backs in Dallas as well. That's why you want to drag the Cowboys-Texans drive chart right to the top so you can monitor that game very, very closely. But remember, this is Fantasy Live, real-time substitutions, so be prepared to make adjustments on the fly if those points aren't coming. Okay, so now let's hit those potential mismatches. First, the Ravens-Browns. Baltimore's offense has struggled mightily the first two games, but could this be their coming out party against the lowly Browns? Could be. It's still very early, but like you said, Allison, Joe Flacco has not lived up to expectations. Guy threw four picks against the Bengals last week. He's not a guy to have in there unless Baltimore is inside the red zone. However, his starting running back, Ray Rice, of course, he has big play potential. I'd put him in as much as possible whenever the Ravens are in fact on offense. Next we have the Patriots. Coming off last Sunday's loss to the Jets, they host the Bills, a team they have dominated to the tune of 13 straight wins. I'd imagine you're recommending some of the Pats. I would say so. Buffalo had no chance of stopping Green Bay last week. Brady, Moss, Walker, etc. Aaron Hernandez, the rookie tight end from the Gators in the red zone. Six catches for 101 yards last week against the New York football Jets. So I would imagine the Pats will have a big day offensively against the Buffalo Bills. One note, you're not going to have a chance to put Kevin Falk in on third down, the great third down running back for the Patriots, out for the year with a torn ACL. But the rest of those Patriots should put up big numbers against that Buffalo Bills defense. And finally, Sid, what a difference a year makes for Brett Favre and the Vikings. Is the Lions defense what the doctor ordered for their struggling <laughs> offense? Please don't say yes. It may be. I'm sorry. I know you love your Lions, but Minnesota has struggled against the likes of New Orleans and Miami. Two decent defenses. That's not the Lions. The Lions have gotten better offensively. Yeah. You know, week one, Stafford had a good game. Sean Hill, a big game week two against Philadelphia. But they still can't stop anybody. Problem here with Minnesota is now Percy Harbin, he's a question mark, so who knows what we'll see from Favre this week. But Adrian Peterson is still a go to guy. Even when the Vikings out and struggled, he finds a way to get himself 125, 150 yards. So you're going to want to play Adrian Peterson regardless. I also think the passing game will come alive this week. It's been a rough start for Brett Favre and the Vikings, but if there's one defense they can get points against in Fantasy Live, I'm sorry to say it, Allison, it is. You're Detroit Lions. Like a dagger to my heart. So, but you're right. I agree. In fantasy football, that's what it comes down to. And the Lions, well, they haven't been doing so well this year. Hopefully, they've been close. So hopefully they can at least their get a win. You fine. guys can get some fantasy their points. Their offense has been fine. If you want to take their offensive guys, you know, week one, Stafford, week two, Sean Hill. Mm -hmm. They scored plenty of points. And Calvin Johnson's a nice player. But defensively, if you're playing the Lions, feel free to play everybody. Yeah. All right, Sid. Thank you anyways. As always, great advice from Sid. And good luck, everyone, playing Fantasy Live Challenge. Still great prizes available to the top scores of the day. Here's last week's leaderboard. We'll see you next week.